Do we have a new kind of space race on our hands? The answer might be yes, if Chinese President Xi Jinping has anything to do with it. On Thursday, he declared the latest step in China's manned space program an important pilot project in the building of a powerful nation in both technology and space, according to Reuters reporting quotes from Chinese state media. Here's what you need to know. China has launched the first module of its new Tiangong space station, according to the BBC. The module, known as Tianhe, is 16.6 meters long and 4.2 meters in diameter and will orbit Earth at an altitude of 340 to 450 kilometers or 210 to 280 miles. Once in orbit, the module will provide power and propulsion for the station and operate as the living quarters for astronauts. It will usually support three people at a time, and six during crew changeovers, according to IEEE Spectrum. The Wentian and Mengtian modules, designed to house scientific experiments, will connect with Tianhe in 2021. Tianhe's other docking ports will allow crewed Shenzhou and Tianzhou spacecraft to dock with the station. After being blocked from joining the International Space Station by the U.S., China's new station will be closer in size to the Russian Mir station, according to IEEE Spectrum. It will weigh 66 metric tons versus the International Space Station's 420 metric tons. Space.com reports China followed a three-step strategy to get to this stage, first building crewed spacecraft, followed by the mini space stations Tiangong-1 and 2. However, Tiangong-1 crashed to Earth in April 2018. Of course, the Tiangong station is by no means China's only space exploration project. It has already landed a rover on the far side of the moon, and according to the Associated Press, another Chinese rover is due to land on Mars within the next month. Here's how the U.S. is looking to compete. NASA plans to build a base on the moon as soon as the middle of this decade, and now we are starting to get an idea of what it will look like. NASA submitted its plans for a lunar base camp to the National Space Council in a 13-page report entitled NASA's Plan for Sustained Lunar Exploration and Development on April 2nd. The plans are part of NASA's Artemis program to send humans back to the moon as early as 2024. As part of the Artemis program, a gateway outpost in lunar orbit will serve as a command and control center for operations on the moon's surface. Astronauts will live in the outpost and conduct scientific research there. Spacecraft arriving from Earth will dock at the gateway, and lunar modules will travel to and from the outpost to the Moon. NASA plans to build its Artemis base camp near the Moon's south pole. The base camp will provide a fixed outpost for exploration and in the long term would include a landing pad and infrastructure for power, radiation shielding and waste disposal and storage. A lunar terrain vehicle, or LTV, will transport crew around base. Like the Apollo program's lunar roving vehicle, the LTV will be an unenclosed rover. Astronauts driving it will wear spacesuits that have been specifically designed for the Artemis program. For exploration beyond the lunar base camp, astronauts will use a habitable mobility platform, a larger pressurized rover with living space and amenities for trips across the moon lasting up to 45 days. The habitable mobility platform will be the primary residence for surface missions, but a Lunar Foundation surface habitat at the base camp will provide a more permanent habitat for as many as four crew members on shorter surface stays. In an April 3rd article on its website, NASA said it envisions sending four astronauts to the Gateway for a multi-month stay to simulate a trip to Mars. Later, two crew members would travel to the lunar surface and explore with the habitable mobility platform. The four astronauts would then be reunited aboard the Gateway for another multi-month stay to simulate the return trip to Earth. NASA said these missions will be by far the longest duration human deep space missions in history. NASA is trying to get to the moon in 2024. Here is the latest development. NASA has released images of its Lunar Gateway space station ahead of its proposed launch of two modules in 2024. In a statement released on its website, NASA describes the station as an outpost orbiting the moon that provides vital support for a sustainable, long-term human return to the lunar surface. Gateway will work as a kind of pit stop for astronauts on their way to the moon. NASA announced in February that after arriving at the station, astronauts will be delivered to the surface of the moon via a lunar lander built by Elon Musk's SpaceX. Eventually, it is hoped that Gateway will operate as a staging point for missions to the moon, NASA states on its website, but it could also operate as a port for spacecraft going beyond the moon into deep space. 
The process will begin in 2024 with the dual launch of the power and propulsion element of the station and the habitation and logistics outpost, which will initially provide living space for astronauts manning lunar missions, according to NASA. Gateway is an international project, with NASA listing its partners as the Canadian, Japanese, and European space agencies. NASA has announced that it is building a new satellite dish as part of the Deep Space Network that would be able to communicate with faraway robotic spacecrafts. The dish, named Deep Space Station 23, is expected to be completed in two and a half years. The satellite dish will be 34 meters wide and will use advanced technology, such as lasers, to transmit data to and from space. Deep Space Station 23 will operate as a radio antenna and will also be equipped with mirrors and include a special receiver for laser beams. NASA officials say this technology can be used for communicating with astronauts once they are sent to places like Mars. According to Suzanne Dodd, director of the Interplanetary Network, which manages the Deep Space Network, lasers will be able to transmit roughly 10 times more data than radio antennas from Mars to Earth. NASA currently has Deep Space Networks in Goldstone, California, Madrid, Spain, and Canberra, Australia. This is to allow spacecraft to have continual contact with Earth while our planet rotates. As part of the Artemis program, NASA plans to launch three lunar missions by 2024, which will eventually pave the way for astronauts to make their way to Mars and make human exploration of the red planet a reality. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.